weather. Hi, Marisol. Good morning, Elaine. So great to have you on the show this morning. Good morning, everyone else at home. Well, severe weather for the unofficial start of summer, and it seems kind of appropriate because we've seen more severe weather this year than last year, and there aren't there are a lot of folks who can tell you about it. So the Northeast, you've already seen a few thunderstorms pop up this morning. Uh, in the upper Midwest, we're looking from Fargo to Wichita, the usual suspects, uh, wind, hail, tornado. But rain, some folks pick up as much as three inches of rain by day's end. The backside of this severe weather is also colder. So instead of rain in Yellowstone, you're going to see three to seven inches of snow for your unofficial start to summer. That's a look at the severe weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now over to Rebecca. Mari, thanks. Coming up next, if you want to feel younger at any age. <laughs> Did, Unbelievable. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Did you see this yesterday? J.R. Hildebrand, a rookie out of California, rookie driver, about to win the Indianapolis 500, the most prestigious race. Can't believe it. In the world, and he crashes on the last lap. He has to be kicking himself today. Uh, one, one would think he may, he may be doing a little bit of that. Uh, but this morning. Hey, Hi, all. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, everyone at home. We know it's been the great flood of the year 2011. We talked about the Mississippi River. Well, there is actually another flood that we're keeping an eye on. It's further to the West Coast. We're looking at the Missouri, Yellowstone, and Platte Rivers. So they had record breaking snowfall over the winter. Some folks saw upwards of 15 feet of snow. All that snow is starting to melt. We also have a storm system bringing a lot of rain. So we're keeping an eye on the Yellowstone and Missouri River today into Wednesday because those rivers are expected to fl uh, crest uh, within the next 24 hours. Uh, in the southwest, it feels pleasant. It's not nearly as warm as it is on the eastern third of the United States along the coast. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. The further inland you go, 80s in Phoenix, this is still below average. It's also going to be very windy. So any outdoor activities you might want to think twice about. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Hey, and on this holiday uh, holiday weekend here, the the heat is. Uh, where did, did did we miss spring? It was I, winter it went to summer. Straight from winter to summer, there <laughs> yeah. was no spring whatsoever. We just have two seasons. I miss now. these in between seasons. Yeah, I was going to say no fall either. I know. Yeah. Putting away the winter wardrobe for good. There was no transition None. period. Usually, None. there's a nice transition period. No way. Could, no. No way. No. All Sorry. right. Yeah. As, as we possibly transition into some thunderstorms today yes. in, in, in some areas as well. I'm just the messenger. Thanks for joining us. This yes, morning, thank you, Elaine. It was lovely. Thanks for having me here. Nice to have you here today. Th Good thank to you here. for having us, everyone. Some sights and sounds of this day now.